but I started realizing like I really like um, the creative side of it. So giving a concept to an event, the name, um, creative packages that we're gonna create for that day. So we started like that. We got one account, from one account it went to two accounts, and then we went three accounts. So we're like, okay, this is becoming something. Mind Miami is a team of creative problem solvers. Their integrated marketing approach allows your business goals to be expressed in more than just the traditional sense. Mind Miami offers their clients online solutions to maximize their sales and widen their reach. Now, here's your host of the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy Viteri. Talking about your experience in your entrepreneurial journey. So what are some of the um, lessons learned? that you have experienced and that you can share with everybody else? Main lesson, um, don't, be a sca don't be scared to fail because the first company that I mentioned earlier, um, I had this vision, like I wanted to grow and little by little things just were not adding up. So I was like, you know, it's okay to take a moment and say, I'm done with this. I'm going on to my next venture. Move the on. moment that <laughs> I moved on from that and I started um, directing all my focus to something that I know had potential to grow, and spending nights, um, hours on this project, it's when I realized, okay, it's okay to let the past in the past and see a, bit, a, a bigger future for something that your new objective is. Let that leave old objectives behind and focus on something new and two years later, like, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> that is so beautiful and so important. <laughs> Because as entrepreneurs, obviously, we set our, our objecti objectives mm -hmm. and we have a vision, but we have to understand that that vision can change and will change. Nothing mm -hmm. is written in stone and we can pivot and we need to allow ourselves. We need to give permission to ourselves to pivot because it is okay to do that. Um, we don't have to punish ourselves if, we, if, we, if things change, right? Of course. Um, so thank you for that again. Another <laughs> hack right there for everybody else. Take notes. Take notes, <laughs> right? Um, so ups and downs, right? It's Correct. like it's never easy, and there is a lot of you know long nights and long hours. And um, what are some of the things that you would recommend for other entrepreneurs to do um, in order to be able to stay true to themselves? Stay true to themselves. So, um, like I said. Um, Get out of your comfort zone. You know, I'm 23 years old, so I can't speak like, oh, like I've learned. I'm sure that there's going to be so many more lessons along the way and mistakes. But the idea is to just always get back up. Don't give up on your main objective and continue doing what you love. If you ca don't love what you're doing, find something new. Because at the end of the day, um, entrepreneurs, for example, it's their own thing. You know, like you want to make sure like your idea, everything it's it's growing and in order for it to grow you have to really love what you do because you don't have to you don't have a uh, boss telling you like come to work 10 to 6 and then no you take that home with you like you live with it you breathe with it and some people tell you like oh like how do you handle all of that I, I love it and <laughs> right. there's a, love what you do and stay focused stay out of your comfort zone do you have any tips for setting up that structure for yourself like your, your objectives and your strategy and things like that yeah so for example, like I said, I'm a very organized person and my boyfriend's a very like straight to the point person. So if you find... <laughs> and he's here, by the way. He's back there. <laughs> um, if you find that person like that supports you and helps you grow, I think if you find like the, the perfect teammate, because like I said, I believe a lot in teamwork and you can't do everything on your own. So if you find someone that compliments you, it doesn't have to be a boyfriend or girlfriend, it can be a friend, it could be a business, a strategical partner, anything. Find your, your support system, your family, and grow together and provide business to your friends, family, and, and they'll give business to you. So sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> sharing is caring. I like that. That's going to be a quote. I'm going to put it as a quote. Um, you touched in a very good, important point that is actually very personal, which is having a very strong uh, partner next to you. Mm -hmm. So why don't you talk a little bit about that? Because um, in a lot of relationships, you could mm -hmm. be with the wrong partner. And that person may not help you, may not lift you up, may not be there for you, may not support your dream. And yes. in a lot of relationships, it may be, make a big difference if you are with the right person because that person will be the one right there for you, cheering you up. Definitely. So 
talk to us a little bit about so, that. So this is actually easy to talk about because um, I really think we pushed each other. Like from the moment that we realized, okay, Mind Miami could become something big. Um, he put he, what he had to offer on the table. I'm like, okay, I could offer this, you know, and we just started supporting each other. And don't get me wrong, at times it was like, I can't stand you. I don't want to talk <laughs> to you. And little by little, you have to understand, like, if you can't continue to fight and you love each other and you know you love what you're doing, then obstacles aren't even obstacles anymore. They're just like, it's like a test, you know, you pass the test and whatever. Tip, I don't know if this works for you, but. We always shared the same office. Um, starting last month, we separated offices because you have to trust your partner. Like I trust him; he's gonna get his job done. He trusts I'm gonna get my job done. And at the end of the day, it doesn't in relationship it doesn't affect it. Because imagine like spending the whole day with your boyfriend girlfriend working in the same mm -hmm. office. You go home and it's like, what are you gonna talk about work? Right but now, you need, to, you need, you need some something space. as silly <laughs> as just moving down to the next office. When I see him after work, like I miss you, even though right. we're two steps away you know right so right. it's trust definitely and and giving each other that space to to get done what you need to get done right right so all right each other <laughs> going into the setup of the business so people can understand a little bit about you know how do you set up a creative agency right mm -hmm. um you have to go through the whole process of you know picking the name and creating your website and things yeah. like that so why don't you talk about a little bit of the logistics of, of it. course so for Minds Miami we always wanted something a brand that when people see it they recognize it so I don't know if just by sitting here you see like everything's like blue and stuff like that we really yeah. focus a lot on like that brand experience so Mind Miami the name actually came from Ecuador he had Mind Ecuador and then we continue okay mind miami luckily like it's the domain was available everything because mind you know it's a very uh, right. common name we found that and then we started applying we sat one day like in the creative process like what what do you think about when you hear mind and stuff like that and i'm like i don't know i think of like energy like i, I think of like a lightning and stuff like that mm -hmm. then came the the logo which is a lightning and we focus a lot on that mindset so although we do like creative services for all these different clients we want to make sure like our brand is also being communicated when you follow our social media mind miami mm -hmm. uh you'll see that we actually follow like uh, a blue pantone and stuff like that so it's little details like that about you do your an brand. excellent job on thank your you. instagram yes <laughs> thank you so it's little details like that that help you helps your brand set apart you mm -hmm. know a lot of people when Stand it's out. exactly and you do an amazing job too because a lot of marketing thank agencies you. are like oh like let me sh let me see your work they're mm. like oh we, we are always like so focused on the works of others that you know mm -hmm. our social media is not a good representation and I, I don't think that should be like that like spend the same amount of time you spend on your clients on your own brand because exactly. that's how you're gonna grow yeah exactly so we've talked about the what you do mm -hmm. and the how you do it now tell me the why the why? Why did mm -hmm. you create Mind Miami? Why? Because I didn't want a boss telling me <laughs> <laughs> what to do at all. I tried that. It wasn't my thing. And uh, honestly, I love it. Like, it's the adrenaline that it fills you with. It's the day-to-day. -day. Like, managing with all the different personalities, it can't be easy. And it's not for everyone. But if you love what you do and you continue to do it with passion, with love, with energy, then... I, re I don't see it like a job, I see it like a, I come to my office and I have fun, <laughs> I don't know, working with all these clients and the creative process of each different account because they're all so different and yeah. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're here towards the end of the show and this is a chance that you have to talk to this camera as it is, a room full of entrepreneurs. Awesome. What piece of advice would you give to them? So you're already on the first step, you're an entrepreneur. Follow that drive, that voice in your head that's telling you to continue doing what you're doing and why you're doing it and, and kill it. Love what you do and continue to do it. Beautiful. Excellent. So where can everybody find you? Minds Miami on Instagram and Facebook and then www.mindmiami.com and follow our new project, which is Mind Night Out as well. Excellent. Like she didn't have enough already with my Miami. Now they went into <laughs> this new one. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. Amazing to have you. Thank you, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Now we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. 
Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.